All right, so um, virtual drama, man. Let's go ahead. Now, I will say this. Virtual drama is set up the exact same way of everything else that uh, UJAM does. There's a couple little things that I love about virtual drama because what it does is it gives you the opportunity to do live drums. And when you're doing live drums, a lot of times what I used to have to do is just like finger drum. And then I would have to line it up. It may be off or whatever the case may be. But what this does is that it gives you an opportunity to do that without having to finger drum. It gives you some drum stuff that you can create from. So that's the dope part about it. So here we is. It is here. This is the look. This is a virtual drummer deep. And I'll just play a couple of things it has. Right? Now, what I want you to pay attention to is this. You have the, this is the style. This is the recommended BPM for this particular drum setup. Um, you have your latch, of course, macro, micro timing. Uh, this is the special, right? So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go to the recommended time that it has, which is 73, and now, Right? So you have uh let's all right, so this is like verses, intros. Oh, that's crazy. Right? This is a verse, a different verse. Then you go into the chorus. Got a feel. Oh man, that's crazy. Steel chord. Then we got your specials, breakdowns. To your ends. Dope, right? So you have that, you have the individual sounds over here. Of course, you got your kick. So there is ways that you can add different things that you want to add here. Now, um, so what we would do, and also you have in here the different drum kit sounds and the mix presets. So let's say this is classic. Let's see. We go to wide. You can add that volume to it. A witness. <laughs> Let's go to Rich. So you got these different. Right? So if you go, you go to wide, go to garage. So now you got this side. It give you different mix presets. Lo fi, slam. Saturated, maximize. You got reverb. You got different reverbs. All right, so you got ambience. So you can get real deep into the mixing of this. Um, you can. So individually, you can change the different instruments. Oh, that's crazy. Um, oh, that's crazy. So this is deep, right? All right, so we're going to change over. Let's get rid of that one. Let's go into heavy. Now make sure while you're doing this, while it's pulled up. Yeah, make sure you do that. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share 
this video, this live stream. All right, so we're going right in. We're going to keep going here. Uh, same exact setup. What I want to do now, I want you to kind of pay attention to the sound of it and how these kits sound, uh, the variation between the different kits, right? So... So now, this one is at 132, same exact thing. So we'll go ahead and change this to 132. And... Right? So you can create that. So now you got open, fat, punch, now D. All right. So we'll go back to punch. Let's try high five. So you got all kinds of different uh, sounds and uh, reverbs and compressions and different uh, effects you can put on these particular drums that will give you what you're looking for. Again, you can still. You can still create your own uh, sound. And I'll tell you this too, so if you want it, you can still um, drag these over and create MIDI also. So what that means is if you wanted to change some things, let's see. All right, so what I'm gonna do is make a little loop here like that. And so this is so let's add another one here like that so now and so we'll do the same thing here in three you come back here same thing so now Right? So you can create it. You can create what you want to do with it. So uh, that's how that works. Like I said, I just want you to hear some of the sounds. We are even, let's try maybe here. So you're just you're just creating. These are different patterns that you can create for your uh, tracks that you're trying to do. You create these patterns and build from them. This is quick, instant ideas, right? So that is heavy. So now we're going to go to fat. All right. So fat. Let's see what sounds they have in here. Uh, let's go. Now this one is 93. Let's go ahead and change here. All right. So this is more of a fatter sound. Oh, that deep is dope. Got hip. And they all have these little dials that you can use. And I'm sure you can animate them too. 
Uh, so let's go with oh, that pump is dope. All right. All right. Let's see what else they got. Uh, at a hundred and twenty BPM. Okay. Uh. Oh, I did 12. I'm like, what is going on? Okay. Gotta put the zero there. So different patterns that you can create. All right, cool. So that's a, uh, that is fat. Next, we're going to go ahead and do solid. Uh, we're going to do solid, and then we're going to cook some up. I want to go over these real quick just to show what they sound like. Let's find one. We're in 120. Let's just find one in 120 already. There we go. So, so this is more of a solid, tighter drum kit. So the compression is different. So they got all kind of different sounds you can get with it. Oh, that's dope. Okay. All right. So now we've heard all these different sounds they have. As we can see, there's different um, textures in every in each and every one of those um uh different plugins so you have the deep that's going to give you they basically name what they sound like so you have deep heavy fat and solid uh either one of them they sound good they all work the exact same so there it's not a very complicated uh, plugin that you're using here for but it gets the job done these are uh, what I always like to call good tools. They set up everything that they need to. It's very self-explanatory. You have intros, fields, verses, choruses, endings. They have all of that. And not only that, when you dial it in, it will allow you to change it up the way that you want to change it for yourself, which what I think that I love the best about it. So now... Let's get into this thing, man. We've done that. So now let's start to cook on.